Hello everyone, welcome to Codes Camp. We are at the fifth day of June Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is maximum performance of a team. The input given here is a yen which represents the number of employees and we have given two integer arrays. One is speed of employees and another one is efficiency of employees and we have to select exactly k employees for the team and we have to return the maximum performance of the team. Here the performance is defined that it is the sum of speed of the employees selected into the minimum efficiency among their engineers. So let's understand this problem with an example. So here is a given input from number of six employees we need to choose exactly two employees where we have a team with maximum performance. So here the performance has been calculated by sum of selected employees speeds plus minimum efficiency out of all the employees we have selected. So now we are trying to select the employee number 2 and employee number 5 for our team. So in that case the performance is going to be calculated as 10 plus 5 which is nothing but the speeds of the selected employees into minimum of both of their efficiencies. So here the efficiencies are 4 and 7. So in that case minimum is going to be 4. Then we are going to do this with 15 into 4 which is nothing but 60. That is going to be our output. So how are we going to approach this? So the first intuitive solution was if we are trying to maximize the performance then the values of speed and efficiencies must be maximum. But here they said that we are going to select the minimum efficiency out of all in the given efficiencies or in the selected employees. So if we are selecting k employees then in that case the efficiency to be considered is going to be the lowest out of all the selected employees. So the idea is to select the less efficient employee first. So if we have any employee with lower efficiency then the rest of the employees that is k minus 1 employees must be having the higher efficiency than this efficiency. So we are going to sort the given arrays based on the higher efficiencies to lower so that we will select our k minus 1 employees from the highest ground and the kth employee is going to be the going to having the lowest efficiency. At the same time we are going to maintain the highest speed group. That is how, how much ever employee we select we are trying to maximize the speed so that we will get the maximum performance. So this is the overall idea. So let's see how we are going to implement this. So we are going to sort the given arrays based on the efficiency from highest to lowest. So this is going to help us select the higher efficient K-1 employee and one lower efficient employees. So we are going to try out our performance with all possible efficiencies and maintaining the higher speed group to pick the employees based on higher efficiencies this is going to help us so as we iterate through the loop and consider each employee at once and every employee come in is going to having the lowest than the before employees if suppose we are exactly at iteration number three then in that case the current employee we are iterating is going to be the lowest out of all the ones we picked before. So this is the first step. So once we sorted them based on the efficiencies, we are going to maintain a minimum heap which is going to hold of top k employees with higher speeds. So we are going to maintain this heap of size k to push all the possible speeds into it and which is going to maintain the maximum speeds of employees. So anyway the efficiencies are already sorted so they are going to be already maximum. So whichever efficiency comes in will be having the maximum efficiencies. But here we are going to maintain the heap to, main, to have the top k speeds. So let's understand we are going to push the first employee into it and the speed is going to be 1 and the next employee is going to be 5. Since the k is equal to 2 the size of our heap is going to be 2 as well and the third employee is 2 so in that case when 2 enters we are going to throw out or lay off an employee with lesser speed. 
so in that case we are going to pop it but before that we are going to maintain a variable result which is going to calculate the result considering the top two or top k employees p so first it was one plus five into the efficiency of the current employee was seven which is the least out of nine out of seven so this is going to be the result and that is going to be six into seven forty two so now comes our third employee whose speed is two so we are going to enter that speed into our heap our heap should have only k engineers so in that case we are going to lay off an engineer with lesser speed so in that case the lesser speed is one so we are going to push that away from our heap so now we have the current employees of speed two and five so it's time to calculate our result our result is going to be two plus five into five because the current employee's efficiency is the lowest of all so this is going to be 10 to 5 which is 50 which is actually higher than the previous performance so we are going to maintain our result at this position or at 50 right now so comes the third employee whose speed is going to be 10 so now when 10 enters again the next employee with lesser speed is going to be go out of the team so in that case 10 enters the loop or heap and then 2 gets away from the heap now the current employees are going to be 10 and 5 having the lesser efficiency of 4 so it is summing up to 60 this is so far maximum so we are maintaining the result to 60 now so next comes our next employee number 4 whose speed is 3 so if we put 3 into our heap that is actually the lesser speed compared to the other two employees so in that case we are going to push 3 away so hope you are understanding this concept by now we are going to maintain a higher speed group along with higher efficiencies anyway the next employee is going to be having the lesser efficiency so this heap is helping us to maintain employees with higher speed as well as higher efficiency so that we will get higher or maximum result so finally comes our next employee whose speed is 8 so if we are trying to push 8 into the heap then 5 gonna go out as that is the lesser speed so now the employee speeds is going to be 10 and 8 so let's calculate our result so if we are calculating 10 plus 8 into the lesser efficiency that is 2 it is overall going to be 36 which is actually the lesser performance compared to 60 so we are going to stick with 60 and not going to consider 36 for our result so we reached the end of iteration we don't have any other employees left to form our team so we finally formed a team of two employees with speed 10 and 8 and our result is going to be 60 which is the maximum performance we could achieve with the number of employees given so hope you're understanding this solution this is gonna take big go of n log n time as we are going to sort the given array once and we are going to push and pull the values to the heap and that's overall going to take 2 n log n time and ignoring the constants the time complexity is big O of n log n hope you're understanding this solution let's go to the code now so first let us have a two dimensional integer array to hold both speeds and efficiencies together so that when we sort one the other also gets sorted accordingly So once we have our array ready, we are going to sort this array based on the efficiency. That is in decreasing order. So here we have in an engineer zeroth index as efficiency and first index as speed. So based on the efficiencies, we are sorting it here on the decreasing order. So now let us declare our priority queue. And the size of our priority queue is going to be k and we set the comparator that if we insert the speed it should be based on the increasing order and, and whenever we remove a speed it should remove the least speed from the heap so let me declare my result and this total speed variables in long because they have said that in problem statement it will be higher and we have to return in 10 power 9 plus 7 modulo So here we are going to 
push all our speeds into our heap. So our speed is at index 1 in our engineer array. So before adding the speed, we are going to check whether our queue sizes of k. If a new element enters and already the queue is full, then in that case we are going to pull the least speed and then add the new speed. So we are checking if our pq.size is already k, then in that case we are going to push away the least element from the queue. So we are maintaining a total speed variable in order to hold the total speed right now at the heap. So from that we are going to subtract the least speed. So now our total speed will become so which is nothing but speed so far plus the current speed of the engineer. So now calculate result for every possible speed. So yes, our result will be having the maximum speed, the maximum performance so far. That is what we are going to return. But here they have asked us to return this in modulo. So let me declare a modulo variable. And it should be in int. So yes, this is it. Let's run and try. So yes, let's submit. Yes, the solution is accepted and runs in 39 milliseconds. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you are understanding this concept. If you like the video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.